Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss what makes the Australian constitution distinct. Like most of the countries, the constitution of Australia is the supreme law that governs the whole system of Australia. The constitution of Australia came into effect on January 1, 1901. Likewise, established the Commonwealth of Australia. However, if you want to know more about the making of Australian constitution, please watch my video Evolutionary History of Australian Constitution. Here, I will be discussing only the unique and distinct features of the Australian Constitution. The first distinct feature of Australian Constitution is Constitutional Monarchy as it is headed by the Queen. Though the Australian Constitution doesn't use the term head of a state, but it was intended to recognize the British sovereignty. Now, the term Queen of Australia is replaced as the Queen of the United Kingdom within the Australia's Parliament. There is an appointed Governor General who represent the Queen. Being the representative of the Queen, he enjoys the executive power. Next, separation of power. The Constitution of Australia has separated the power among the different governing bodies. The first one, that is, Chapter 1 of the Constitution, explains the legislative power is vested in the federal parliament. Second chapter of the Constitution explains executive power is vested in the Governor General, who is representative of the Queen. And the third chapter, of the Constitution explains the judicial power is vested in the Federal High Court. Next, direct election to both Houses of Parliament. There is a constitutional provision of direct election of the members of both the Houses of Parliament from the beginning itself. Next, referendum for constitutional amendment. If there is need of constitutional amendment, then the referendum is essentially required. So, as per the provision of section 128 of the Constitution, any amendment to the Constitution requires approval through the referendum. The concept of double majority, that is a majority of electors and a majority of states. Next. Limited guarantees of personal rights. The Australian Constitution doesn't have a comprehensive set of human rights. However, since the 1990s, the High Court is in an attempt of developing so called a jurisprudence of rights, which are said to be implied in the text and structure of the Australian Constitution. Last but not the least, judicial review. The High Court of Australia can declare the legislation unconstitutional and therefore it is invalid. Likewise, the High Court of Australia has supreme power in context of judicial review. It is all about the distinct feature of the Australian Constitution. 